Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another episode of Stellaris as our Sullivan Stellar Parliament. When we last left off, we were having some problems here with crime. We also had one of our planets horribly decimated by a dragon. Uh, I, I also did a bit of reading about these, uh, these criminal branches and all that jazz. And it turns out, if I actually get crime to 0% and it stays that way for X amount of time, they'll get expelled on their own. So if I just pop down a precinct house, which apparently has a minus 60 to crime effect, it also produces unity, so that's good. And we can always get rid of it later if it turns out we don't need the crime reduction. I mean, in general, we don't have that much crime on our world, so... I like to think we'll be okay. I think I'm... For the moment, I think it does make a lot of sense. I really need to do something about amenities, don't I? Anyway. Ah, uh, it just... It takes so long to actually get more pops, doesn't it? So, so, so frustrating. Anyway, let's also go ahead and create some more governors. Ah. Hmm. Well, you have a good effect. Do any of my ever... Is anyone else actually producing at the... Okay. Do I... Pop up. There we go. No one else is really producing science right now. That's mildly troublesome. Ah, but you know what? We'll we'll get there eventually. Can I? I don't think. Yeah, I have to wait for that to colonize before we can go ahead and settle it. Anomalous readings registered. And yeah, you're still making your way over there. Got our anomalies that we're taking care of. Unspent civics points, which we're gonna get to that eventually. Uh, and I need to increase our admin capacities. There's so many things we need to do. Oh, and we've... The Sacrosanct Zum Sovereignty. Ugh. A lot of, uh, a lot of spiritualists. Chief Present... Pre Presentor? The word I've never seen before. Vubi Jedumak. And the rest of the religious council bids you greetings. We provide spiritual guidance to the Sacrosanct Zum Sovereignty, and our stated goal is to lead this great nation on a path to salvation. Do not cross this path, and we may live in friendship. Alright, sounds good enough to me. And that's you. Ooh, if I'm quick. If I'm quick, I can still totally claim that. Do I have any construction ships, or...? I do have a construction ship on its way. All right. Let's see. Pirate treasure. This asteroid appears to have been used intermittently as a base by a band of alien pirates roughly 1,000 years ago. A small boarding party entered the base and managed to recover their abandoned treasure hoard. It consisted largely of stolen trinkets and artifacts, but some of it still appears to be of value. All right. I mean, that's not, not terrible for us. Leviathan Down, the Starship Graveyard. Where is this? Ah, oh, it's all the way over here, so... We're basically giving these guys good stuff. You have an open border, by the way. Kind of there, but they do have a cooperative attitude, so you know what? Let's, uh... Move one of our folks over here. Because, you know, keeping two over here now that we've maxed out improved relations really isn't going to do anything. So all told, I think we should be okay. Anomalous readings registered. Well, let's give it a check. Inexplicable optical phenomena. A magnetic miracle. Oakley Oakley. Added for 60 months. 
Growing magnetic field around V Torum has been affecting computers on the surface recently. Oddly, this is not merely random interference. Instead, computers are actually working more efficiently than they should. Ah, that would be so good if we actually had any science on this planet whatsoever. But we only have... There's nothing I can do to get that. Well, I guess I could use immigration coal. Try and drag a bunch of people here faster. God, I wish uh, we still had some growth modifiers. I'm not entirely sure why they got rid of those, except for the fact that apparently, you know, too many pops growing results in... Research concluded. You know, worse performance or something like that. Oh, there we go. Lower a bit of crime, get a bit more amenities. Terraforming could be good. Could be good. Lots of good stuff. Do I want an energy siphon? I mean, it does a lot of shield damage, doesn't do much armor damage. Oh, you know, I should probably get this food thing going. Not that we need it, but just to get that option out of there. Alright, what do we got here? Luminous waves coursing through the ice at blankets even 4 are of alien origin. Some ancient battles deposited scattered wreckage from an alien fighter on the frozen planet, and only ex the exposed core of its main weapons remain intact. Seems this alien race used lasers similar to the ones currently in use by Sulavon fleets, and the fizzling innards periodically discharge low-powered beams into the ice of Eam 9. The planet's harsh climate prevents the lasers from actually melting the ice, allowing the chilly matrix to act as a brilliant prism. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Didn't really do anything for us, but it gave us some experience. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Isn't it just? Okay, we could give ourselves a bit more admin capacity. I mean, 10. Then again, frequency tuning. Yeah, let me take a, a peek at our current technology and... That is... Wrong. Uh. Alright, so if I look at this, this has a range of 30. Damage of 1 to 18, 40, 8 to 21. Okay. Oh, I could just get plus one Elgate Insight. I mean, I, I guess. Why not? And again, this fifth... Yeah, it is better, at least at this stage of the game. So maybe, maybe I should go for it. Since again, one of our big System survey difficulties completed. here is that these guys are still superior to us. So we do want to work at maybe getting something a little bit... Just something to give us a bit of an edge. Refugees? A flotilla, a flotilla of civilian transports carrying Bacata refugees from the Visari Sacrosanct League have arrived in our space. They have been allowed to settle on the Vale. These unfortunate outcasts were forcibly expelled from their homes by Visari authorities. They've been traveling from system to system since then in a desperate attempt to find new homes before the last of their dwindling supplies were used up. Well, of course they're welcome. They just... Like, how could you do that? These are intelligent, sentient beings and you just... threw them away? Well, your loss is my gain, son. Alright, let's, uh... Get you to auto-do stuff. Maybe close these so we can see a little bit better of what's happening. And... Oh! Let's check out the... Ooh! We are growing. Alright, as much as I would like more science, we probably need to buff the amenities over here. Hmm. To be honest with you, I kind of wish... If I recall correctly, I think if I was spiritualist, I could build churches which create amenities and unity. Pretty good stuff. But, you know, this this does create unity as well, so I guess it's all good. Probably gonna need more consumer goods being produced. Meanwhile, over here, we'll go ahead and upgrade you. Which will give us... Eh, plus eight amenities, that should keep us going for a bit. And a bit more housing. 
And after that... Let's see. What do I want to make? Well, we've got an alien zoo. Gives us society research, unity, and amenities. All good stuff. Produces or uses up a whole bunch of stuff that we don't really have. You know what? We still need more alloy foundries. Ah, but then again, hold on there, Gaslight. This is a Gaia world. Well, it's just more resources in general. Science would be good. But then again, what good is science if I can't pump out my ships? Ah, what the heck, I'm gonna... You know what, I will... Actually, we're all the way up to 11. So with that in mind, let's put some alloy foundries and then we'll see where we are once we hit 15. I'm sure it'll be fine. You are... Oh, you're actually not doing anything. Build that starbase. Then move over here and build another starbase. Colonize here. We've got some good stuff. Oh! So these people that we had show up. Let's actually take a look at them for a second here. We've got the Bacada. Oh, I recognize you guys. You are the same species that, uh... Yeah. That were flying around in those caravan ships. Interesting. Right. <laughs> Oh wow, we're actually at full strength. So it's just you that I need to keep buffing up. System survey concluded. Ah, oh, boy. Construction completed. Okay, so that's all done. Hmm. Oh, and who are you? The artisan troop. Who we already knew. Wait, you're also an artisan troop. Are you... Basically the same... You're basically the same people, aren't you? It's only the merchant enclaves that are different people. Yeah, so you're both basically the same. So I don't really need to rush on that front. Alright. I really should get some trade stations are sighing down here. But we'll worry about that by the by. Meanwhile, over here, I'm Anomalous still lacking alloys. Registered. Oh boy. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Uh, oh, right. Wormhole travel. Awesome stuff. That could be very handy. You know, a cold fusion reactor... Let's go with that first, because, you know, more power means more doing of things. Vessel of some kind has crashed onto an asteroid. Ah, substance abuser. That means you're gonna die sooner. 20 years. Invasive xenofungus. After intense study and sampling of the growth blanketing entire biospheres on Brunus Free, Monac Vagas reports that the substance is not native to the planet. Rather, an invasive fungal life form of unknown origin. The fungus feeds on biomatter, choking out existing plant life and enveloping terrain. Any future settlers on the planet would have to deal with routinely burning back the, Z ex the exofungus. It is unknown at this point if it can be entirely eradicated. Nifty. We've also came across the Ofari civilization down here. They are a steam age. Okay, so we've got two space age knowledge is the key guys to the universe and a steam age civilization. All right, there we go. I mean, I guess these growth buildings might be more important than I've been giving them credit for, to be honest with you. Of course, I'm still refusing to build them for reasons, but I guess probably on all future planets they should be the first building I build, shouldn't they? Okay, small scout ship of some kind plowed into the surface of this asteroid millennia ago, creating a shallow canyon. There is no visible cockpit on the ship, leading our scientists to believe it was either piloted by remote or through some kind of primitive artificial intelligence. Although it is too damaged to be salvaged, the ship hasn't been picked clean by looters just yet. 
That works out for us. All right, I'm gonna build that and then kind of hop back here for a second. And let's see, we can build seven star bases. So having one here, actually also you. Oops, no. Oh, that's the colony ship, not the construction ship. My mistake. Uh, yeah, you. What are you doing right now? Okay, you're doing that. All right. This is all going to take a second. And where is that one wormhole? That's the only wormhole in our territory right now, so we should probably... When you're done... Have a moment. I should send you back to check that out. I mean, you only have so many systems left that you can explore. Refugees have arrived on the veil. Jeez, what are what are these people doing? From Coltren. So what, did you guys just like I guess they just kicked the native population off. Jeez. And even these criminals aren't that evil. Though again, I mean it kind of kinda of benefits me. But I'm definitely gonna need more amenities though. That's causing some problems. Anyway. System survey I mean, concluded. If, uh, they want to keep throwing refugees my way, I am happy to happy System to survey them. concluded. Alright, good. So now you can colonize this planet, so let's do it. Burek Mog. Sounds like a nice place. Then research, mining, and then we'll of course continue to expand. Little by little, bit by bit, piece by piece, brick by brick, and so on. And yeah, as for you, I'm gonna... If I can rush to this, that'll be good enough for me. Colony establishment has begun. Because then, you know, we kind of we blocked them here. We have detected an anomaly. A never anomaly. Well, well, well. Of course, System we're so close survey concluded. to their territories. Whoop. All right. I mean, we haven't really met anyone we can likely form a civilization with. Or at least that's the impression I get. Well, then again, they are cooperative. So it could happen. But... Workers and slaves by 5%. Capital buildings get more housing. Governor level cap. Ruler level cap. Hmm. I mean, just adopting this gives us two more star bases. Of course, we, we're we only at half capacity on that front anyway. Hmm. Yeah. I don't really know what I keep waiting for, to be honest with you. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I, you know, I might as well keep going this way, because again, finishing it gives us more influence, which is always a needed resource. And you know what? Increasing resource output by 5%, don't really know how much that's going to do for us, but it should do something. We're also running a bit low on food, so I'm going to have to do something about that. A new world has been colonized. Delightful. One of these planets. There we go. You are... oh. Ah, and I can't afford it. I'm sorry. But you are in my space, so if I make you like me enough... Actually, no, if I build a star base here, we can... Nope, you're actually... you're the artisan troop. Never mind. Different thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and create a new sector. Which actually puts both these planets in there, so that's pretty nice. And what do we want? Actually, clearing blockers could be good. Not my top priority, but it could be handy. Oh, you. Science ship. 
know, I could have you go explore this wormhole, and then come back and help with research. There we go. That's using the old noodle. Of course, Construction depending, completed. Depending on where that uh, wormhole goes, it may open up a whole new path of exploration for us. Or it could lead to a fallen empire. A xenophobic fallen empire. That would be terrible. Oh good, I... Oh, we're way ahead of schedule on that one. Construction ship. Alright, let's keep going. Just one, two, three more systems. And I might as well take this system as well, because why not? Take all the systems! Oh jeez, now what happened? Our governor died. That's unfortunate. I really wish... Actually, you know what? I bet if I got genetic engineering, maybe I'd be able to get everyone to embrace the brain slug. Maybe. Wait, where did these guys arrive? They have arrived on the Vale. So... Yeah, they must be purging over there. Which... Bad for them, good for me. As the ISS Jal Urkin passed through the asteroid belt on its way to TBR-728, Science Officer Monak Vagas reported that the ship experienced a number of sudden gravitational shifts. Ever curious, Monak Vagas dispatched a number of probes to scan the debris field to discern the cause. Turns out that the culprit is a number of gravity generators of old, alien make. Sputtering on dying energy sources and with their polarities inverted, they occasionally spew reverse gravity into the void, though not with enough force to cause any serious harm. Not anymore. Science Officer Monik Vagas theorizes that the generators once provided artificial gravity for a large asteroid in the belt, but some malfunction eventually tore the rock apart. Now that's indeed disturbing. We have God, detected I... an anomaly. I feel like I have so much stuff I need to do, and yet... You know, we, uh... We're not quite there. Alright. Excellent. Chancellor... System survey concluded. Oh, we elected a new person, did we? That's... I mean, it's not bad, but that was like our anomaly searchy person. So, yeah. Oh, that's gonna take forever now to do anything with that, so you know what, we'll just... I'll leave that for now and we'll just kind of explore as we will. Alright. Yeah, that can... Actually, apparently I'm still... still doing it. Never mind. Survey and then we'll come back to that later. What's our mandate? Planet side mining, so we need two districts of the mining variety. Oh, and we've also encountered the Wa aliens. Oh, and these are intelligent people. That is intriguing. Construction completed. I'm actually kind of tempted to keep you around here to excavate, assuming I'm able to actually build this in time. Which we might be able to do, we might not be able to do. Time will tell on that front, as it always does, of course. Uh, actually now might be the time to start kind of backfilling in here. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here, but... Not like these guys are going to be able to go that far. Well, you know what, I shouldn't say that, because it's totally possible they'll, like, slip past me here. You're done, so you are, in fact, a uh, colonized building thing. Alright. I just need to get here. System survey they can't, uh, They can't block me off. Also, researcher. Oh, it's the countdown. Researchers on Kazan have eagerly anticipated the countdown in the mysterious atomic clock of prodigious precision found on Roshan Sea for the past 42 years and three days. Several decades worth of heated speculation and conjecture have evaporated in an instant. The clock has just now reached its momentous deadline, ejaculating a stream of self-replicating nanites. These nanites are streaming on a trajectory towards a never-planned-in-the-Roshan system, Roshan B1, 
projected to arrive within the months. Where where is Roshan again? <laughs> Not somewhere that I'm colonizing, is it? Oh thank god I haven't colonized this planet. Ooh. Though it does fall within my space. It's next to the Kovifi system, so who knows what could happen there. Anyway, what are they what are they doing? Whatever may happen once they re arrive remains to be seen. System survey concluded. Oh, and someone else died. Oh, and there's actually already a new governor in place. All right. Oh, and we're down to zero crime, so that's good. I don't think I'll upgrade that just yet. All right, let's see if we can kick these crime lords out of our out of our system. And also, just to quickly check, make sure yeah, everything seems ordinary and proper here, so that's good. Stuff is still happening over here, people are still peopling, and I guess it's probably time to wrap this episode up, so... Oh! The nanite stream ejected by the atomic clock in the Roshan system asteroid belt has made planetfall on Roshan B1. Replicating at an incredible rate, the nanites covered the entire surface of the planet in a period of hours, proceeding to terraform it into a Gaia world! Yay! Victory for the proletariat and all that. Hours after the competition of the terraforming event, the nanites involved in the process deactivated and decayed beyond recognition, leaving us with little ability to extract any information from them. However, their remains have peppered the surface of the now very tempting planet with valuable metallic composites trap, isn't it? So it's now a Gaia world with high quality minerals, which gives it 15% more minerals from jobs, four mining districts, and one Elgate Insight. I mean, I can't say no to that. It's a size 20 Gaia world. <laughs> That's pretty damn sexy, I say. Anyway, we'll have to explore that later. Until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.